We've been overwhelmed by the amount of generosity from everybody in Edinburgh and in fact from Scotland. There was vans today that came from Glasgow University, nurseries in Glasgow. It's just been um, incredible. People have just wanted to come and support us. I'm a member of the Ukrainian club and we are distraught about all the things that are happening in Ukraine. Well, what's that like for you? Because you've got, you've got family uh, out there, there in Ukraine. What, what's it been like for you, first of all? Um, it's been very emotional. It's really difficult watching the news, but you feel compelled to watch it every day to see what's happening. And we just want to be able to do something here for all our fellow Ukrainians back home. And what's it been like for your family? Well, we've been helping out as much as we can and um, donating. And if necessary, we'll take our family, if any of them want to come over and stay with us for a short time, because they won't want to stay. They'll want to get back to Ukraine. Have any of them been had to stay and, and fight for Ukraine? Uh, my cousin's husband, my cousin fled from Kyiv with her two children, but her husband has had to go back and join the Territorial Army. He's actually a jeweller, but he's um, going to fight and he's in U Kyiv. Wow, that must be incredibly scary. Very scary. And we're all praying for Mikola, yeah. Kevin Dubrovsky's obviously come down today. You, you can see it's kind of lifted people's spirits a little bit. It has, and I think Kevin also has the connection because his family, he's from Poland, so he's emotionally attached to this as well, and I think it's just been lovely to have him here to give us all a bit of support. Yeah, and he's obviously been getting involved, lifting boxes. He's a big, big, strong guy, isn't he? He's a big, strong guy. He's very tall. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of youngsters helping, and he's just another, another one. And I'm sure if he wanted, he could have got all his friends to come. They would have all came out. But to give up his day off, it's really good of him. Kevin, why did you want to come along here today? For me, being privileged and being so, so far away from here, living in peace, I wanted to contribute as much as possible and knowing that there will be a possibility to provide some products, some, some clothes for, for those people in need, I just wanted to, to, to help them and uh, obviously it's not like the biggest thing but if I could slightly, slightly help them I'll, that would be a big relief for me as well because right now what's happening for them I can imagine uh, how, how scared they are because that, that should never happen. We live in the 21st century, so right now that situation is for me disgusting and unacceptable. So I, I hope that those, those small things which, which we can do here in Scotland will show a hope for, for Ukrainian people that everyone is with them, not only in Poland, as, as we help them really well, but everyone from all over the, all over the world, so they, they can know that there, there is a future for them and they don't have to worry about it because we, we try to help them as much as possible. I'm kind of speechless about how organized everything, how people start working together. We've shown that in those situations, we, we as people unite us and make us stronger as, as one. So I'm, I'm very happy and proud from every single person who wants to help because right now, being far from, from Ukraine, we're very privileged to live in peace. So that's why I'm even more happier that thinking about them is just unbelievable and helping them because we, some of the people, we just wouldn't have to do it. That's why it's amazing. It just came, just came from, from us. What, what was your reaction when you, you came in here and you saw all the stuff that's been donated? You saw letters that, that Scottish children have put together to send to people in Ukraine? It's heart, heartbreaking as well, but as well, it's just amazing to see how many staff have, have been provided by all those people from kids as well. The letters I've seen, just amazing. Like even those kids in the small age, they, they are aware of this, of this situation. So especially they, they feel sorry for, for those people, especially for the kids who have to be in Ukraine. And, they experience this stuff. They should never experience what's what's happening there. They should grow in a in a love and a peace 
that's how all it should be. And I hope everything will end up with a with a good story because so everyone from from the world is here for them. Yeah, and you've obviously got family, friends in in Poland. Have you spoke to them about about what what's going on on the border and and what's their thoughts? What have they said about it? Oh, definitely. I spoke with my family, with my friends. Many of my friends have gone. Many Ukrainian friends. Some of them just told my friends that some of them. They go to Ukraine, they're going to go fight for their country. So you can imagine how scary and serious it is that some of the boys who are in my age, even younger, some of them just started the university, they, they planned their future and they just quit everything, went to the country, grabbed the gun and they will start to, to fight for the country to, to protect it. So you can imagine how serious it is. Um, I really hope that all of the people from Ukraine will, will see and will know how big support they, they've got, not only from Poland, but from all the people in Scotland and all over the world. So I hope that will be a good hope for them, that everything will be, hopefully will be fine soon.